Okay, today I'm going to be showing you some cool experiments with burning sugar. I'm going to show you how ash can actually help things burn. So normally when you burn things, it turns into carbon dioxide and water. But when you burn sugar and not enough oxygen gets to the sugar, you can produce just plain old carbon. And due to this effect, you can get something that's called a sugar snake. So watch what happens when you burn sugar mixed with baking soda. Okay, so this powder I have here is just called hexamethylene tetramine and it's just a solid fuel. It just burns when you light it. So this doesn't really have anything to do with the reaction. It's just to burn the sugar. And then what I have in here is sugar and baking soda mixed together. So let's watch what happens when I light it on fire. So I have a little divot in the center so the sugar can be surrounded by the fuel. Okay, let's see what happens when I light it on fire. Three, two, one. Is it gonna do anything? Okay, so what's happening here is that the sugar is partially burning, creating carbon, and the baking soda is breaking down into carbon dioxide, and there's also liquid sugar in there because it's hot, and so the carbon is getting mixed with the liquid sugar, and the carbon dioxide is expanding, and so that's pushing up all the carbon, and then the liquid sugar hardens, and it's creating this solid black snake that comes out of it. Okay, let's see two of them at the same time. These are starting to look like the horns of Satan or something. It's crazy how long they're getting. So because this is just carbon and melted sugar, what do you think it tastes like? <coughs> uh, yeah, it just tastes like ashes. Okay, so we see that sugar can burn with some help from some solid fuel or liquid fuel, but can you burn sugar just all on its own? Will it just burn and light on fire? Okay, so sugar by itself doesn't really burn. It just melts. So even though sugar has a lot of energy, it doesn't really burn because the oxidation or reaction of sugar with oxygen is actually pretty slow. So you need something of a catalyst. And there's a number of catalysts that you could use to burn sugar, but watch what happens when I burn some paper and then put the ash on the sugar. Paper, on the other hand, oxidizes very quickly. And what we're left with after burning the paper is just ash. But in these ash, there's metal carbonates and there's even some carbonic acid. And these salts and oxides can actually do a special thing for burning. They can act as a catalyst. Now let's see what happens if I mix this ash with sugar. Now this is just plain sugar mixed with ashes from burned paper. Now let's see if it lights on fire. There it goes. See now it's actually burning. So the sugar is on fire just because I added ashes to it. So that's really interesting. Adding burned things to sugar can make it burn better. <laughs> so unlike our previous experiment, we didn't have to add any solid fuel to this because the sugar just acts as fuel as it, with itself. So if you want your fire to burn better, just add ashes to it. <laughs> hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode. Remember, I have now released the very first Action Lab subscription box, so if you haven't subscribed yet, head over to this link right here. 
and subscribe to the Action Lab box. And if you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest videos out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.